get in trouble. So today's video is about holiday questions. So we recently got tagged um, from some great creators down in Palm Springs. Uh, their name is Adventures of David and Aaron. Um, their link will be below in the description box. And they were great, gracious to tag us in their holiday Christmas questions. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much so. Really has a name. <laughs> it, yeah, so we're we're happy to oblige and be able to uh, answer these questions. I think it's fun. You know, it's in it's in the holiday spirit. So Scotty's got the questions on his questions on, on, phone. on his phone. So let's go. All right. So the first question is real or fake tree? Well, we're sitting next to one. Looks a little fake to me. Um, but we actually have three trees in our house, and they are all fake. Um, the other two are on the other side of the living room, but um, they are our main trees, and they are both fake as well. But they actually look quite real. Yeah. So, yeah. The reason why we have three is technically, I mean, we we bought this one, and it was it just needed. We wanted something in the corner, but we the reason why we have two other trees is um, we used to have one big tree, and then we used to just combine all of our ornaments on it, and it came to the point where it's just like. That doesn't look so nice. So we have our everyday tree, uh, well, we're everyday ornaments, sorry. And then our other tree is um, travel. a travel tree. So ornaments from everywhere we visited. Did, or where family members um, have visited. Have visited. Yeah, so I will, um, I, I did take a little bit of a, a video of both trees, so I will insert them now. <laughs> And there you go, and those are our other two Christmas trees. So we're 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 happy that we we have them and we love them. So yeah. All right. Question number two. Favorite Christmas cookie? Um <coughs> I would honestly have to say any cookie. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's a cookie, right? Um, but I would have to really say is um, my mom's Portuguese biscuit cookies and her chocolate chip cookies. For me, I'm going to go a little more holiday favorite, um, gingerbread. I love a good mm. gingerbread man. Um, I remember making them as a kid with my mom and uh, you know, decorating them and then just biting the leg off or biting the head off, you know, whatever it might be. Gingerbread. <laughs> Poor gingerbread. Well, you've got to eat it somehow. <laughs> That's true. All right. The next question is home on Christmas morning or travel? Um, for us, we're usually home Christmas morning. Mm -hmm. um, our family is all local, uh, for the majority of it. So um, we stay home and do Christmas with us, and then we travel later in the day and go visit whichever family we're with at that time. We kind of rotate each year, and some some years were you know some years were with my family Christmas Eve, Matt's family Christmas day, day, and then the next year we usually flip it around. Yeah. So. Everybody gets to share the love. Yeah. Um, so Unfortunately, though, this year, this year um, mm, it's, it's just us at home. It's just us at home. Um, we we had some health orders come through from our health minister, which was not to commingle with anybody. So, thank God for the power of Zoom and the power of FaceTime. So, you know, I, we won't be there physically, but we'll be there via you know electronics and spiritually. So, you got to do what you got to do, right? Yeah. So we'll see. Things can change. Okay. They change daily right now. So exactly. We'll see what happens. Uh, the next question, sorry, uh, clear or colored lights? We actually have both. Mm -hmm. So this tree, obviously you see the colored lights. On our other two trees, which I we see. saw in the pictures, they're white lights. Um, and the only reason we went that way is because we wanted something different. Exactly. So, yeah. Um, do we send Christmas cards? <laughs> This year, yes. Last year, no. <laughs> we sent a couple last year. We sent a year. few last year, but um, it was, I, I always tell this, I always say this every year. I think Christmas card writing and exchanging is a complete lost art yeah. because we're so modified with emails and online cards. And I, I understand carbon footprint as well, 
as we need to be mindful of that. But there's something about opening your mailbox and looking in and getting like a couple Christmas cards, either from a, a family member or a friend, or even just, just, you know, your online friend that you met this year. <laughs> like we met so many people online this year that I was like, you know what, what's your address? Cause we would love to send you a Christmas card. Yeah. Cause it's that, that warm sentimental feeling when you, when you get that. So um, this year, yes. And I'm gonna honestly say to like, I, well, I could say it on behalf of both of us. Continued years, yes, yeah. as well. Um, okay, favorite Christmas present received. Wait a minute. I'm okay. going to give you the next question as well because yeah. I think these might go together. Okay. Favorite Christmas present given. So, if he's thinking the way I'm thinking, um... Let me just say one thing. Why? Yeah. I knew it. <laughs> so, 2018... So it was Christmas of 2017 to yes. go into 2018, to yes. The Christmas of 2017, we basically booked a cruise to Hawaii because that is what we wanted to do mm -hmm. the following year. And um, that was our Christmas present yeah. to each other. So that would be best given and received. Pretty much. Um, and usually from then on, yeah, a lot of times our, our presents are some sort of vacation or, right? or something like that. So and that's kind of how it's... it works out. It's what Scott and I really, I mean, we, we do have, we, we exchange stockings with each other yeah, we do little and things. little things like, you know, chocolates in there or like, you know, a t-shirt and an iTunes gift card or whatever it is. But I, oh, oh yeah. Does sorry. It even exist anymore. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, sorry, an Apple, anyway. uh, an Apple gift <laughs> card for your app store. But we, we, we kind of really just put our money together to do our yeah. trips. So yeah, it would have to be Hawaii for sure. Yeah. All right. Do you own Christmas pajamas? Yes. Me too. Um, probably multiple. But they're not really, really Christmassy pajamas. Like they don't have Santa or anything. I mean, the the ones that you bought me last year were like the plaid, the, I, I, the red and plaid. I have some Christmassy yeah. ones, but uh, well, the, the dinosaur ones yes, that I bought you. I have <laughs> Christmassy ones, but uh, they, you know, I wear them not just at Christmas because it's just around the house. Who really cares? Exactly. All right, favorite Christmas song? So for me, it would have to be, um, not a lot of people know this, um, but I am a huge fan, huge, 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 huge fan of Celine Dion. And um, her Christmas album when she put it out was something I used to listen to on repeat, but it would have to be her rendition of Ave Maria absolutely beautiful i love it and it has to be one of my favorite holiday songs that she's done for me mine's a little strange um it's a song some people may not have even heard before but um for me it's i want to put for christmas and it is it's an old song but it's been redone recently by a lot of different artists and um, non-traditional it's fun it's true true uh, it's, it's for christmas come on it's almost like um <clears throat> grandma got run over by, by a reindeer yeah, type of a thing right of a but i um i agree with scott it's a cute song and i think it's it's actually a newer version it's the leon rhymes um, yeah, uh remix version of, of version of it that yeah. i actually enjoy more than any of the other remixes version, that yeah. scott listens to so yeah smart one um favorite holiday tradition well, for me, um, something that I've always done myself, and I don't know that I necessarily share it with people, it's kind of my own tradition. Um, when I'm doing my Christmas wrapping, depending on when it is, sometimes I leave it to the last minute and do it Christmas Eve, but I always watch uh, the black and white version of A Christmas Carol, like the original version in black and white. And um, that's what I do while I'm wrapping. And, drink or two and make a night of it but um usually i'm wrapping maddie's gifts so he never gets to partake in that with me because he's in the other room <laughs> or i'm out and yeah. there's been many a times i'm gonna say something about the drinking there's been many a times on christmas day that i'll look at my stocking and i'll be like were you drunk doing this and he's like yeah oh, i was wow. 
Yeah, I was. Oh, don't, please. Uh, my favorite tradition would have to be, um, I think it would be Christmas baking. The reason why is because um, we used to Christmas bake a lot with my mom when we were younger. So it's a continuous tradition. And I think as, as we get older, we lose those traditions. And like Scott was saying, he's able to up hold that tradition every year but um I, I i miss doing that with my mom and don't get me wrong i could easily drive the other the half an hour to to do it with her but it's it's time consuming you know what i mean and, and age wise but it would have to be baking with mom okay. um are you an early shopper or a last minute shopper mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh me i'm that type of shopper that shops all year round and many a times where I'll be like okay well I have this present I have this present I have this present and by Christmas I'm just like okay pick up this this and this that then there's other years where it just I don't know my I just get like you know rattled where Christmas time will come and be like oh my goodness I didn't even remember this and I bought more presents for that individual and Scott would be like okay so what are we gonna do with this and I was like oh, I'll save it for next year yeah. so <laughs> it's always a consistent it's always a consistent um, just buy because I'm a firm believer when I see it, I buy it because I'll forget about it. So That's true. Um, I'm usually an early shopper, usually done before the beginning of December, just around the beginning mm -hmm. of December. Um, I'm pretty much done now, and today is what, December 9th, I yeah. want to say. Yeah. Um, a couple little things, things I might need to yeah. pick up, but the majority of it's done. So, and it's been done for a little while. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I would say early. Keep losing my spot. Sorry, guys. Um, favorite Christmas movie or show? You can go ahead. Well, I've already kind of answered one of them because I really do enjoy the black and white version of A Christmas Carol. Mm -hmm. um, just something about it. It's it's old. It's a classic, and I just really enjoy it. Um, I think it kind of scared me a bit when I was younger. I remember seeing it when I was younger, and in the beginning, it always scared me. But um, yeah, not anymore. And uh, I do have another one. If you can see my shirt here, that might give you a clue. Um, I really do enjoy the uh, National, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Yeah. Mine has to be every little boy wants a BB gun and every father wants a hideous lamp. So mine would have to be a Christmas story. Okay. And of course, yours would always be Winnie the Pooh. Of course. I'm gonna throw in one more just because it's really fun and okay. it's similar. It goes along these ways as Christmas with the Cranks, um, slightly newer show. Mm -hmm. You know, within the past ten years, I think. Mm -hmm. And um, that's I really enjoy that one too. And I'm gonna have to say uh, to our friends back east, uh, especially uh, Mr. Christopher, um, um, Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Mm -hmm. About that debate. <laughs> All right. Um, favorite holiday beverage? Eggnog. You will see um, in a, next week's vlog, actually, um, we'll give it a little bit of a hint, but we, we did a drive-through uh, light show, and we stopped off for Starbucks beforehand, and eggnog, 100%. Eggnog, eggnog, eggnog. When Starbucks gets eggnog, that's it. It's just like, drink, 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 drink. But not this year, because, you know, trying to get the figure down, so. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, I do enjoy good eggnog. I'm not a big fan of warm eggnog. I don't mind it, but I do like eggnog, especially with a little bit of something in it. Something, something. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so that would be that. Okay. And um, do you leave out cookies and milk for Santa? Who doesn't? Who doesn't, right? Absolutely. Something to eat exactly. when he's flying around. What, like, come on, Santa, Santa, you need, we need to fuel Santa every <laughs> single year. So, yes, we do. That's right. Um, the last one is just to tag other creators to answer the same questions. Um, I feel like most people that we would tag have already been tagged. In yes, I believe others. so, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but, but if you, if you want to take part and share any of these answers, yeah. Share them in the comments below. Yeah. Make your own video and share it with everyone. Exactly. Um, yeah, that's the yeah. holiday questions that we were tagged in by David and Aaron. And uh, 
thanks guys Thank for you. doing it. Been, yes. you know, it's I know these tags sometimes people are like, oh, another tag or this and that, but you know, every periodically they're fun to do and you get to know the holiday. It, yeah, exactly. You get to know a little bit different things about an individual. Like, um, Aaron does not like eggnog. See, see, and me, there you go. Everybody would love eggnog, right? But you learn different things. So at the end of the day, that's, that's our answers. Yeah. So again, like I said, I was Maddie. I'm Scott from No Map Sea to Travel. Uh, as we always say, let adventure guide you. No maps needed. Happy holidays, you guys. Merry Christmas.